I hope you're all having a great time. <laughs> I was almost in tears, so Kobams, I don't know where you are, but thank you, thank you, thank you. You know you're very special to me because of what you do for Inclusive Africa. I cannot thank you enough. Even my voice has changed. <laughs> Um, I hope you've enjoyed your dinner, um, and I know, and this happens all the time, I get a lot of praises, but I want you to know that it's an entire team, an army of people who actually make this happen. I have an amazing board of directors, they are literally hands-on, they don't just sit and wait, they literally get the work done. I have an amazing, amazing team. Where's my team, actually? Um, Diana, where are you guys? Julius. Where, 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 come on. Davis, where's George? Steve, join the crew. Am I missing someone? Who's missing? Where's Linda? David, where's David? I'm actually for, forgetting the... So, so let me say this. This is really the Inclusive Africa team. I have the Enable team somewhere. They are the rest of the program team. Please stand up. Anyone enable, anyone enable, anyone enable. So I want, when you're praising me, please think of these guys because they've been working, some of them, till one in the morning, seven days a week, and I cannot thank them enough. But I'm really, really grateful when you say, thank you, Irene, thank you, Irene, I think of them. And I just wanted you guys to see their faces so that you know who's behind me. As I keep saying, this whole journey has been a very lonely journey because we've been selling a product that no one was interested in. And one of my board members, Sarah, just reminded me on the table, five years ago, this was just an idea. This didn't exist. So it takes people believing in you and joining you and helping you really achieve all this. So I want to say a special thank you to this team. They know I'm very thankful. They know we joke a lot, but seriously, Deeply grateful for, to have you guys on my team. Fantastic, great. Okay, you can go ahead, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's okay. And then the last piece, now let me get to the reason why I came here. Um, so last year, um, no, let me say this. Since maybe the second Inclusive Africa Conference, we started reaching out to people to submit innovations. And part of it is we were receiving some, we were receiving questions about what's going on in Africa? Are there any innovators? Is there anything going on? And there was a big disconnection because even the innovators did not know about other innovations within Africa or across the world. So we decided to start highlighting different in innovations that um, assistive technology innovations. And um, we had I think we've had multiple winners, but last year we decided to now host at least 20 innovations. And that's what we call the Assistive Technology Village. And because we are a village, it takes a village to get everything done. And we're in Africa, in Africa we have plenty of villages. So uh, the beauty of it is that our innovations, I think we received a huge number. And of course, as you know, we're still in the early stages of development across the continent but it's very inspiring to see what young people are developing and what they are trying to do. And it's important for us to do this because we are trying to see how can we help, where do they need support. And we, we had a conversation about assistive yes, tech I'm and everyone is like, there's no market for assistive technology in Africa. But the reality is, I repeat again, 15% of the 1.4 billion African population lives with disabilities. So we have to figure out and we have to support the innovators to be able to sell their products. And part of it is, as much as we import some, we want to make sure there's, there are certain innovations that are locally made by Africans themselves. But 
our innovators cannot succeed without our support. So tonight, out of the 20 innovations that were there, we're going to highlight three uh, that were shortlisted by some judges, and I thank the judges. I don't remember who they were, but they did a phenomenal job. I wasn't involved, but they did select the final three. And out of the final three, one will win $10,000. Yep. The purpose for this grant is to really help them improve user experience. And from what I've seen from most products, what happens with innovators, um, especially in Africa, is they're very passionate about what they develop. But what happens is they don't do market research, or, the, or rather user research. So you find sometimes you're a deaf innovator, innovating for the deaf, but you happen to be the answer to everything. So what we do, we take the innovations and we do um, a UX study with them, and then we come back in and help redesign based on the feedback that we get. So really, it's about helping improve the product. So we hope we can grow and figure out funding systems how do we help in um, improving the products, but also how do we take these products to market? We don't have all the answers, but I hope by the 10th Inclusive Africa Conference, we'll have a few millionaires sitting in here because they sold their assistive tech. <laughs> so, um, um, please. So, I will hand over the mic back, but just to welcome everyone and to say please pay attention to the innovations. And for the innovators who are not selected, I want to say thank you for submitting. Keep innovating. Don't give up. Some of us have been doing this for long, and this is when we are actually getting the attention we need. And I hope the Inclusive Africa platform can get you the attention you need. It's about connecting together, making networks, and I hope by the time everyone leaves, you've made a few friends. Thank you, and all the best.